Hello, welcome to Verbling. Hi there, I'm Teacher Oakley. And uh, today in this class, we're going to be looking at vocabulary for shops and shopping. In fact, uh, this week at least, for the next four days, including today, at this particular time slot here at Verbling, we'll be uh, looking at uh, vocabulary that has to do with day-to-day uh, -day chores, tasks, things that we have to do, errands we have to run, those types of things. Of course, one thing we all have to do, we all have to shop for food. We all need to buy clothing. Uh, so some practical vocabulary this week. We're going to start out with vocabulary for shops and shopping. We're going to do some exercises together, uh, fill in the blank, mix and match, as well as discuss a little bit about shopping and your shopping habits, shopping in your country, etc. Hello, Heidi. How are you? Hello. Nice, nice to see you again. Uh, nice to see you. How was your weekend? The weekend is uh, raining. Uh, even today it's raining. Raining? Yeah, overcast. A little, uh, it's a little brighter than uh, before. Yeah, it's another, it's another bright sunny day here where I am. <laughs> shopping. Shopping today. Yes. Yeah. Uh, before you I, like shopping? I bought yeah. paper for printer, printer paper. Yeah. Then I chose cheaper one. The surface is uh, a little rough. So mm -hmm. I printed three or four papers <laughs> once together came out. Ah, it sticks together? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've seen that before. I should have bought um, a little uh, more expensive one. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. Mm. There we go. Uh, it's something we might talk about today while we're talking about <laughs> shopping. Is it better to spend a little more money to get better yeah. <laughs> product? Yeah. I can, you know, uh, Heidi, uh, this headset I'm wearing is, is very nice, but it really literally costs 10 times more than the headsets I was buying. Mm -hmm. but the headsets I was buying, the <laughs> headsets I were buying, I should say, correct my own English, uh, they would break after two months, you know, six weeks to eight weeks, they're they're done. <laughs> <laughs> one month warranty, great. After one month, forget it. You're lucky if they go two Ooh. months. <laughs> Sometimes you have to make that decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, Okie doke. Uh, let's get started. I hopefully some others will join us. There's plenty of room, uh, so come on in and join us uh, if you can. Earphone and the microphone are um, different. It's much cheaper. Separately, you mean? Yes. Earphone is uh, different. And, uh, really? Only uh, microphone. Mm -hmm. Then um, I put two or oh, two things in the computer. Two jacks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. Microphone is very cheap, but quite good. <laughs> oh. Good deal. Uh, I've never, th I've actually, never thought about doing that. Uh, Javier, welcome to the class. Nice to see you, as always. Hello, Javier. How are you, Oakley? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. Nice to see you, uh, as nice always. Too. Yeah. Uh, hope you had a good weekend, and uh, here, here, where I am, it's Monday, so. Starting my week again. All right, let's let's get started. Let's uh, start looking at. Uh, we're going to start with uh, different kinds of shops: the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Uh, we'll talk about these different types of sh shops, and uh, also some of them are the same. A couple are a little different in uh, American English. Let's talk about that. We're going to match the shops uh, up here, you know, these these shops up here, with the uh, what they sell. So uh, let's get started. Uh, Heidi, 
what is that? Green grocer. Green grocer. Green grocer. Uh, so. Fruit, fruit and vegetables. Sure. Uh, true. And uh, Americans may call it a grocery store, but a grocery store has come to mean just a small store with everything, canned goods, sugar, flour. Uh, it's come to mean that the original meaning of a grocer is a fruit and vegetable seller. I I was corrected the pronunciation it, vegetable. So vegetable. Maybe yeah, I need to uh, pronounce G a, a, a little bit stronger. Um, well, yeah, there's that, and I should, I'm glad you brought that to our attention because I really should mention that uh, British pronounce the three syllables, vegetable, oh, that's four syllables, I'm sorry, <laughs> vegetables, mm -hmm. vegetables, um, Americans pretty much drop that second syllable, we say oh. vegetables, vegetables, <laughs> vegetables. Vegetable. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's American pronunciation. Okay, you know. thank you. Tend to, definitely tend to shorten it. Uh, okay. Um, bakers. Javier, you ever go to the bakers? <clears throat> Excuse me, okay. Do you ever go to the bakers or really a uh, bakery? Yes, yes. Yeah, and what do you buy there? Uh, usually, I, I bought uh, bread. Uh, some uh, sometimes I brought uh, coffee or sugar. Mm. Things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, bakeries are very common and very common. Every neighborhood has one here where I live in the Philippines. Not not quite so common in the United States, but. Uh, very common here. Wow, really cheap, really inexpensive cakes, breads, rolls, sweet rolls, things like that. Great deal here, uh, and delicious. Fresh, hot, warm, right out of the oven every morning. You get the pan de sol, little, little kind of a little bit sweet rolls of bread. Many people have for breakfast. Delicious. Yes. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, Javier. I'm sorry, uh, Heidi. Uh, what do you What do you buy at the butchers? Butchers meat. Meat. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Do you, Do people go to the butchers in Japan? Yeah. Is that common? To have I a don't separate? know. I uh, buy buy uh, meat in the supermarket. Yeah. I okay. like butcher before butcher killed the butcher knife in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Hmm. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, to butcher is can uh, obviously it means to, the act of cutting up meat into steaks and various different what we call cuts of meat. Uh, there is a skill to it. You have to know how to do it. Um, Cuts of meat, but also to butcher, if we're talking about people, <laughs> then that's a very nasty, horrible word, meaning uh, to murder in a horrible way. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jose Luis has joined us. Hello, Jose. How are you? Hi, how are you? It's my first class with this system, and, uh, and then I, I try. Okay. Uh, so far, so good. <laughs> You're doing great. Well, welcome to the class. We're happy to have you with us. Uh, Thank you. Okay, I'll be right with you, Jose. I'm going to keep my order here. Um, Javier, what do you buy at the chemists? Okay, I have a question first. Uh, why, sure. the nouns, why the nouns have uh, an S and apostrophe? It does. Uh, it does British uh, language, English. Why? Why do they all have an apostrophe? Yes. Uh, to show. Ah. It's common mm, in American English. Good question. Uh. Mm, yes. No. Yes and no. Uh. Well. 
Yes. I mean, it's, I didn't even notice it. So, uh, yes, it's obviously common because we're showing a possessive here, like saying okay. the baker's shop, the butcher's shop, the chemist's shop. But in reality, it's a very good question. In reality, sometimes we may say, I've got to go down to the butcher's. I've got to go down to the baker's. It's possible, but it's more likely I'd say I'm going to the grocery store or I'm going to the bakery or I'm going to the butcher shop. So we don't always use it. No, in fact, it's le at least for Americans, it's less likely we use it. But I don't see it as abnormal in any way. I, d I didn't even notice it. Okay. All right. So uh, back to my question, what do you get at the chemist's? Uh, I suppose the chemist, uh, you can buy um, medicine? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, very British. The chemists, Americans never use it. Uh, we use one of two uh, word or phrases. Um, we Americans say the pharmacy. The pharmacy, uh, yes. Or the drugstore. <clears throat> Slight difference. The pharmacy is very specifically for medicine. You have to talk to a pharmacist. Only a, a licensed pharmacist can sell you medicine. Uh, so we're talking about very specifically that. Drugstore ha may have office supplies, some even some basic groceries, magazines, and newspapers. But usually a drugstore will have one section of the store that sells medicine with, again, uh, a licensed pharmacist. That would be normal in the United States. Uh, okay. Uh, Jose, this one's a little strange. What would you buy at the Ironmongers? Uh, slowly, please. What do you what? What would you buy at an Ironmongers? Shop out of this Iron list. Mongers. What? What is that? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm asking you to take a guess. What do you think uh, you buy there? I I I buy I buy uh, bread and cakes. Really? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, let's let me talk about it for a minute. A monger is a seller. Uh, Ironmonger is very rare for Americans. I have definitely heard of a fishmonger. Uh, a fishmonger, somebody who sells fish. Uh, all right. Uh, that's very normal. So if we combine the words together here, iron, monger, seller, is uh, somebody who sells iron. Um Okay, probably talking about things like an eight here. Tools, nails, candles. Now, this confuses a lot of people, but Americans, I'm surprised actually how few people, um, second language speakers, know this word. Do you know what the Americans call it? Black to me. Yeah, well, Americans 100 years ago would call it a blacksmith, <laughs> I suppose, or maybe 150 years ago. A blacksmith shop, uh, yeah, yeah, well, that's that's old school where they actually made things like shovels and picks and pots and pans. They actually made it out of iron. That's right. But modern day, if I wanted to buy a hammer or nails or candles or things like that, uh, I would go to a hardware store. So I'm surprised how few. Second language speakers know this. They th hardware store, they must sell computers. No, 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 no. DIY. <laughs> yeah, DIY, do-it-yourself things, absolutely. Uh, ladders, wire, um, light fixtures, door hinges, all these types of things. Long before there were computers, there were hardware stores. Uh, what we call them in, in uh, American. Uh, I, I don't know, I really don't know how much British use this term ironmongers. I'm not even, I mean, it's easy for me to figure out because I know the two words, iron monger. But I've never actually heard anyone really use this. I have no idea 
you can ask your British teacher how much they actually use that. I don't really know. Uh, Heidi, do you, do you ever go to the florist? Yeah, florist. <laughs> flowers, flowers. Of course, flowers, florist, flowers. Uh, are flowers really expensive in Japan? Yeah, very expensive. Yeah, why is that? Oh, maybe uh, they <laughs> they came from uh, foreign countries. Yeah. Mm. True. Flowers are very expensive, like everywhere I have ever traveled in my life. Uh, yeah, definitely. All right, here's another one that's uniquely British. Javier, what do you buy at the off-license store? Uh, off-license? Um, off-license? Yeah. I don't know, uh, magazines and newspapers? Well, let me, let me help you out here. Uh, Americans do not call it an off-license. I know Brits do because I've had British friends use this word and I had no idea what they were talking about until they explained it. Uh, Americans know this as a liquor store. So there you go. Uh, okay. Wine and spirits. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Wine, wine and spirits. Uh, off license, I'm not sure where that derives from. I, I, I've definitely heard it before, but Americans a little more to the point. A liquor store. Uh, very good. And uh, Humberto has joined us. Hello, Humberto. Humberto, hello. You don't appear to be muted, but Umberto, we can't hear you quite yet, so you can fix that up. Just give a shout out so that we know we can talk to you. Umberto, whenever you can, just say hello, teacher. All right. Uh, Jose Luis, news agent. What are you going to buy at the news agent? Uh, uh, I, 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 I believe magazines and newspapers. Well, at least newspapers for sure. Yeah, um, magazines and newspapers. Um, uh, Americans would call it a newsstand. It's kind of like a kiosk, a very small, uh, small stand, not like a big store you walk into. Uh, again, many drug stores will sell newspapers and such inside a store. A newsstand is located out on the street selling uh, newspapers to commuters going to work things like that okay uh, everyone I am now again the verbling chat box I I can't see below what I've already typed so if you're following my extra vocabulary and comments in the verbling chat I've I've run out of room <laughs> so I'm gonna switch over in the upper left hand corner of your Google hangout you will see a group chat box a blue box if you scroll over it, it says chat. Click on that. I'll, I'll be using that for the duration of the class. Uh, thank you. Uh, Umberto, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Do you hear me? Yes, I do. Terrific. Uh, Umberto, I've got a... I'm throwing you right into the wolves here. I'm throwing you right in. Which of these is not the correct name for a shop? Uh, which is not correct. Mm -hmm. A bookshop, a shoe shop, a sweet shop, a meat shop, pet shop, gift shop. Which is not correct, do you think? Mm -hmm. Well, I think. Yes? Yes, What's I can hear. Yes, I can hear you. Which, which one do you think is correct? Not correct. Okay. Well, so well, pick one that is not used. Uh, well, I think is I think probably could be a uh, uh, sweet sweet shop. Sweet shop. Sweet well, shop. you're kind of right. Uh, sweet. The sweet shop can be used. There's actually a couple possible answers here, but they're not 
look, all of these may be used, and any English speaker would understand you. It's the truth. But sweet shop, I, I have definitely heard it a little bit more British. Uh, Americans call it a candy store. So, yes, I think that was a good choice on your part. Also, uh, meat shop, as we already talked about, a, a butcher's or a butcher shop is uh, is probably uh, more commonly used. But if you said a meat shop, anybody would understand what you meant. Bookshop. Uh, Heidi, do you mean it's supposed to be separated? Yeah, I think a bookstore. Bookstore. Ah, yeah. Um, yeah, good point. You're absolutely right. I didn't even think about that. It's Bookshop is okay. Again, anybody would understand any of these, but Heidi has a point. Uh, probably more commonly called a bookstore. Um, I already mentioned, uh, actually, uh, candy store, American, sweet shop, more British, drug store is American, a chemist, more British, and liquor store. I can't even remember what we called it. Off-license store. Uh, okay, just a quick mention of some more vocabulary. Uh, there are large shops in England and America and all over the world which are called department stores, which have different sections of the store, maybe even on different floors, uh, different stories sometimes, or different areas that have a shoe department, a girl's department, a men's department cosmetics department and so forth uh, that's a, a department store many malls are anchored okay their main store is a department store that's very common uh, very common practice uh, on the other hand a chain store has branches all over the country so every mall you go to has I don't know a gap store for example that's that's a chain store maybe a Levi's something like that uh, on the other hand, a shopping center, shopping mall, okay, well, actually, a place with lots of different shops, there's a slight difference, I don't even know, in, I don't think there is a difference in British English, but in American English, a shopping center has a giant parking lot, okay, and you, and it has each, you can't go from store to store inside, from the outside, from the parking lot lot and probably a sidewalk that goes in front of the stores you can go into each separate store a shopping mall you go inside and you can stay inside the mall and go to different shops and access them from indoors so there's a slight difference uh, okay I don't think there is a difference I think I get confused by the way British British I think use the same both both uh, phrases, both co-locations, shopping center, shopping mall, to mean both. To be perfectly honest, it confuses me slightly because they're two different things in American English. Okay, uh, enough of me talking. Uh, let's look at some more stuff here. Uh, we're going to do a little fill-in-the-blank with an uh, experience that we all probably have, and that's going to the supermarket. With some very basic words we use for supermarket shopping. Check out baskets, trolley. Okay, Heidi, I'm going to start with you. Read this sentence, filling in the blank with what you think are the most likely words. Hmm. I hate carrying those away uh, baskets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, are that's... Yeah. Are you Go ahead. Totally. All right. Uh, uh, is that... True. I agree with this statement. I hate carrying those stupid little baskets. <laughs> <laughs> I hate those things. I never use those. Do you, do you know what that? How about you? What do you What do you use when you go to the supermarket, Heidi? Do you I use only baskets. I'm not. Uh, I don't, don't use really. Totally. Tur 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 really. Uh, because if I buy uh, too much, too uh, then after that I need to bring to my house. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Uh, I got you. All right. Now, a basket, a shopping basket, a basket is a basket is a basket. Yeah, that's very normal for American and British. 
Americans call a trolley a shopping cart. We would never call it a trolley. Uh, I always get the one with a weird wheel. <laughs> with the one crazy wheel that wiggles back and forth. <laughs> Makes a little noise. I'm very lucky that way. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think you all know what I mean. Uh, I'd like to welcome Nada. Hello, Nada. Welcome to the class. Hi. 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 Uh, we'll get to you in just a minute. I just wanted to say hi and welcome you. Javier, uh, how about number two here? Me? Uh, no, uh, Javier. Uh, uh, although, Nada, if you wouldn't mind muting your microphone when you're not talking. Okay. Thank you very much. No, uh, Javier. You there? Javier? No? Maybe connection or maybe you stepped out for a moment. Let me uh, take it over to Jose. Jose Luis, can you read number two? Uh, I think working on a um, hmm, boring job. Uh, uh, huh. what, what is Asli? Isle. This word here is aisle. Aisle. Uh, aisle. And by the way, since the pro pronunciation, I have to point out this is the same pronunciation as uh, a couple other words or, or word in a contraction. Aisle, as in I will, the contraction of I will. Aisle. And aisle, the kind of short form of island. And I'll are all pronounced exactly the same way. They should all sound identical. Uh, yeah, I'll. Okay. Uh, I'll is, well, there's an I'll, for example, uh, in the supermarket, uh, I'll seven. Um, clean up on I'll seven. Someone has dropped a jar of tomato sauce. Please clean up on I'll seven. In... Uh, Aisle two, <laughs> you can find eggs and dairy products. Okay, the different aisles have different, um, they're the rows, okay, in between where the food is stacked up is the, are the aisles. Uh, you have aisles in, for example, uh, in a church, all right? When you walk down the aisle to get married, that's the middle row that you walk down, the, the open area in the middle. Between the between the benches, the seats. Okay. So anyway, Jose, back to you. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's not Looking. aisle. Oh. It couldn't uh, be anyway. Organic. I think working on a. No. On it a... can't be. Let, let me let me give you a more English help here, because we have a. The next word must start with a consonant or consonant sound at least. So it would be impossible for okay. me to have aisle or organic. So baskets and trolley are already used. So, but basically, trolley, trolley, yeah. These were already used. So really, you can't work on a plastic bag, I don't suppose. So that leaves checked out. Um, okay. Any ideas, Jose? Okay. What, what is checkout? If you work checkout. What does that mean? If you work checkout in a supermarket, where do you work? Mm, okay, okay, yes. Um, uh, fa, fa, uh, <laughs> um, okay. uh, when I when I pay, uh, that's it. My 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 items. Pay for your items. That's right. Uh, that's right. The checkout person uh, will have a cash register and they will they will scan your items with that uh, weird little scanning device they'll you know they'll move your products you're buying across the scanner and it will calculate how much you owe that's it so checkout person that's what they do they they 
tally up your goods and give you a price. Uh, all right. Very Thank good. You. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you. Umberto, number three. Uh, if everyone uses one... Uh, uh, if everyone uses one plastic bag every time they go shopping, that's an awful that's pollution. An awful, awful lot of pollution. Yes, it is. Uh, plastic bags. Well, uh, Humberto, let me ask you. Um, let, me, let me just say, in, I'm an American, and in America, they always ask you paper or plastic. It's just that's normal. If you want a paper bag, they'll put your food in a paper bag. If you want plastic, they'll use plastic. Some people use their own canvas bags they bring to the store with them. Um, some to, often supermarkets will give a small discount for using your own bags. However, nowadays. Yeah. I live in the Philippines and it's all plastic. And they are crazy. It's like every single checkout person has invested in the plastic markets. They want to give you a pl separate plastic bag for each item you buy. <laughs> They're nuts. I, I basically have to yell at them every time I go shopping. No! Cram as much stuff as you can. Or use a box. Or I ask them to use a box. Anyway, in your country, when you go shopping at the supermarket, do you use paper bags, plastic bags, canvas bags? How does it work? Uh, we use uh, plastic bags too. Uh -huh. And there is uh, some places when, uh, when you go shopping, uh, uh, if, if you are going uh, maybe to a huge supermarket when you bought a lot of things, uh, they, they don't give you uh, a plastic bag or a paper bag in to to be to, in order to have a good environment mm -hmm. they give you uh, the, the, pro, the goods without uh, without a bag really and also they offer you a discount yes. Ah, no kidding. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Here in Peru, there is, yes. Yes. Here in Peru, there is uh, just one um, store, well, one supermarket that they don't give you uh, any bag. Uh, and, and also, no for that reason, they give you some discount. Yeah. No kidding. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, I wish they did that here. Yeah. Uh, interesting. All right. Thanks. Uh, not a number four, please. Yes. Uh, could you tell me what she is, please? Third, uh, on the right, can I see the? Mm -hmm. um, uh, organic. Hmm. Organic. Uh, third organic on the right. No, that doesn't quite fit. Organic. You see the IC ending. This is a sign. This this word is probably an adjective. So it, that doesn't make sense. Uh, third organic. Uh, uh, third aisle. There you go. Aisle three. All right. So in a supermarket, yeah. all of the food is in different aisles. It often, there's often yeah. signs hanging from the ceiling that tell you what type of food is in each aisle. That's it. Third aisle on the right. It's like a classic joke in English. Clean up on aisle seven. Clean up on aisle seven. Uh, yeah. Okay. Heidi, back to you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, <laughs> fair potatoes, organ, uh, organic. Organic. No, organic. That's it. No, <laughs> the organic section over there, sir. Okay, there you go. All right, so organic and adjective. What does that mean? 
what what would that mean about these potatoes? Um, maybe uh, they don't use a chemical product. Uh, they uh, grew up um, as much as possible. That's it. That's it exactly. Uh, no or no chemical pesticides or fertilizers were used in producing them. Hopefully. Uh, when they grew, Heidi, be careful. Don't we only use grow up for people, <laughs> uh, not for plants? Okay. <laughs> My friend Walter the potato grew up in a field in Idaho. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. Thanks. All right. Uh, who says this? Let's do this one real quick. Let's zip through this. Uh, who says it? The customer. Or the shop assistant. Uh, okay, uh, Javier. Javier, can I help you? Yes, uh, that's words are uh, usually earned by the shop assistant. Absolutely. And uh, by the way, shops and shopping. A lesson on shops and shopping would not be complete without at least mentioning something called drop rise intonation there's a kind of intonation which shop, shop assistants use which is a very exaggerated and very not normal type of intonation um, when you call customer service for example thank you for calling customer service my name is Oakley how can I help you today how can I help you is there something I can get for you sir all right, it's a very exaggerated, it's called drop rise intonation because the it's not very smooth transition from high and low pitch. It's very fast uh, transition or change from high and low pitch. It's a weird thing. It really is, but it's considered normal for shop assistants, customer service agents, technical support. It's normal, and if you don't hear them use it, it sounds strange. Conversely, if you hear somebody using this drop rise customer service intonation not in this situation, it sounds weird. We also use it when we're talking to strangers on the street. Uh, excuse me, sir. Could you tell me what time it is? All right. That up and down <laughs> modulated strange quick pitch change that's very common in English it's considered normal I think I think it's trying to be uh, more polite <laughs> it is that's uh, that precisely it's exactly what they're trying to do just don't think about it too much but that's <laughs> yeah that's it they're trying to be more polite uh, okay let's uh let's zip through the rest here uh, Jose yeah uh, no, thank you. I'm just looking. Uh, um, Sage, uh, the customer. Absolutely. I'm just looking. Uh, very normal, extremely normal thing to say. I'm sure you've said this, Jose. I'm sure I've said it. It's very normal. We don't want people following us around all through the store all the time. <laughs> or at least I don't. Does it, Jose, does it bother you when a when a shop assistant follows you around like a stalker? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like they're watching you. It's scary. Okay, Umberto, number three. Okay, number three. Are you being served? Uh, shop assistant. Yes. Uh, careful pronunciation. Of served, 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 not served, served. One syllable. Uh, okay, are you being served? Again, with the weird intonation, most likely. Are you being served? Pardon me, sir. Are you being served? Mm hmm. Nada, number four. Your receipt, uh, receipt in the bag. Um, shop assistance. Absolutely. Notice receipts, contracted form. Uh, your receipt is in the bag. Your receipt's in the bag, ma'am. Uh, all right. 
What is your receipt, Nana? Um, uh, the bill. Sorry. Do you mean Do you mean the meaning of receipt? Yes, please. It's a, a bill. Um, uh, it's a statement uh, of uh, uh, statement of. Uh, it's a like. Yeah, it, a written uh, record of what you purchased and how much it cost. That's yeah. it. And it'll have the store's name and the time and date. Yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, hi, um, Heidi, back to you. Okay, thank you. I'll take it. Customer. Sure. All right, obviously, if you're buying something... Uh, okay, and finally, Javier. Uh, thank you. I think I'll leave it for now. I think it's the customer. Yeah. Uh, me. Uh, yeah. No buy. No go. No purchase. Uh, usually, uh, I say. <laughs> I think many English speakers say, "Well, I'll think about that." Well, I'll, I'm going to go now, but I'll think about it, okay? <laughs> Meaning, no, I'm not buying it, and I'm, let me leave, <laughs> basically. Uh, okay, let's uh, see if we can do this exercise. Talk about shopping, some normal phrases, some normal collocations we use in shopping. This is in the form of a dialogue, so two people talking. Uh, let, let me... Quickly welcome Sun, Sun Nguyen, Huang, hello. Sun Nguyen Huang, hello, how are you? Okay, if you can, you don't appear to be muted, so if you can say hello, so I know that you can... Uh, your microphone's working, and I can talk to you. Just say hello, son, when you, you have a chance. Uh, hi, Max. Welcome. Hello. Hello. It's going okay. Uh, all right, we're going to look at some simple phrases that are very common in dialogues in a, when you, you have when you're shopping. All right. I'm going to start with uh, Jose. Jose? Uh, okay. okay, so you're going to answer, and I'll, I'll do the first part, all right? I've got to go to the supermarket later. Is there anything you want, Jose? Oh, yes, lots of things. Why don't you uh, try this one? Yeah. Yeah, I don't Because think, or, uh, uh, I don't think so. Is there anything? Hmm. Uh, make a. Uh, yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, make a list. There. Why don't you make a list? Right. So you don't forget uh, anything. All right. Do you make a list when you go shopping? Before you go shopping? Yeah, yeah, in Evernote. Okay. So it's normal for you to make a list. Uh, yes. All right. That's normal. Yeah, a piece of paper. That's right. Uh, it's normal for many people. Sure. Uh, okay. Continuing on, another dialogue. Umberto, I really need a new coat. Umberto, are you there? Yes. Yes, I'm here. Okay. So if I say. Umberto, I really need a new coat. You might reply. Okay, I might reply. Uh, well, wait till after. Are you okay? I'm very okay. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Uh, well, uh, wait 
till after Christmas. Uh, uh, you might got this in sales. Uh, I knew you were going to say that. Now, no, that uh, doesn't quite work as far as the sentence structure. Um, first of all, you might get this, but uh, it still doesn't work. It's possible you might get you know, get this. Why why were you calling a new coat this? It has a lot, a lot of sentence structure problems. You might get one. You might get a new coat on sale. So something's on sale it's at a reduced price. So it's not, you know, if we totally restructure the sentence, we could do that. But there's an answer which is better. Uh, it's in the sales, not on sale. So uh, you know, there's a different sentence structure. You want to take another guess? Uh, the idea is you might be able to get it when you uh, go get one thing shopping we use this phrasal verb like I'm going on my way home from work I need to pick up some milk for example uh, mm -hmm. You might tell someone to pick up a newspaper on the way into the office. So you go to get one thing specifically, um, and it's relatively cheap. Nobody picks up a new car. Hey, I picked up a new car on the weekend. That's crazy because you don't pick up a new refrigerator. Things that are expensive, you don't just pick up. Uh, things like a loaf of bread, you pick up. All right, so uh, really, uh, you might pick up a bargain in the sales. Okay, get a bargain, a reduced price, uh, like that. Uh, okay, N uh, not a. Uh, actually, you can do the yeah. first part. Uh, can I? Uh, can I something, please? I that person answers. They're changing rooms over there. Uh, yeah. Like this word. Sure. Okay. Uh. Can I something? And the person would reply, sure, there's changing rooms right over there. Uh, any guess? Not sure if you're breaking up, Nada. Are you? Are you, are you there? I'm just hearing some clicking sounds. Oh. Find. Sorry. Get out of find. Uh, no, because the person responds that uh, they can. They can. There's a changing room. Do you know what a changing room is? Uh, yeah. Okay. You, you use it to try on different clothes when you're buying clothes. So when you I want to, on. yeah, when you want to try out clothes, you try them on. If you want oh, to yeah. try out a, a video game, you try it out. All right. You want to try a flashlight, you try it out or test it out. With clothes, you try them on. Try it on. I like this hat. Well, try it on. Let me see how it looks. Try it on. Uh, okay. Moving on. Uh, Sun, uh, are you there? Wong? Hello, hello? I'm not sure if I'm, cap I'm able to talk to you or not. Okay. Uh, all right. Max, I'll go over to you. I don't believe it. I've only had this alarm clock for three weeks and it's broke. Well, why don't you take it back and see if you can get a refund? Get a I'm refund. Not sure. mm. I'm not sure if I can do that. I didn't maybe keep 
uh, receipt. To the receipt. Yeah. All right. If you want to get a refund, get your money back. You need to keep the receipt. The again, as we mentioned earlier, the receipt, the documented history of what you bought and when and from what store. And th this is why it has all that information. So in case there's any problems, you have a written, you have proof that you bought the item there. That's it. Have you ever, Max, have you ever brought something back for a refund? Uh, yeah. It was uh, several plate. plates. Plates? Hmm. Yeah. Why yeah. were you returning plates? Was so bad quality. Oh really? Yeah. And they just because they're bad quality, they they let you take them back. That's cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they did not. That wouldn't happen in America. They'd have to be broken or something would have to happen. Uh, okay. Recently, I had um, the news from America. Women, yeah. women uh, buy the clothes for the party, and the next day they wear. Ah. And to get through hand. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, and then they return them. Yeah, this actually does happen uh, in the United States. <laughs> yeah, Pe that's exactly right. I've heard about that too. I can't believe people do that, but I guess so. They they take they buy something, keep the receipt, and then return it like one or two days later. Crazy. And uh, Heidi, uh, anyway. Uh, Okay, number five. Um, um, no, Beast? No. Uh, or got this? There you go. Yeah, that's got simple. This. Mm -hmm. uh, have you got this in dark blue? I'm afraid. Um, Never mind. I'll take the black uh, then. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, as it says, notice use of then here. Uh, it means in those circumstances and comes at the end of uh, end of what you say. This is very common. Common in shopping. Uh, common in all English. Uh, okay. Here's uh, something a, a little strange. If you're shopping for pleasure, you go shopping. It's an activity, believe it or not. In English, it's considered an activity. If you have to buy food, which we all do, uh, things for this house, uh, I've got to do the shopping. All right, because it's a task. We use do to do to talk about jobs. Do your homework. Do the housework. Do the dishes. All right, so if it's considered a job, you're going to do the shopping. All right, go shopping it means like clothes and perfume and toys and stuff you don't really need. We we often differentiate. We use a different verb depending on our intentions when we're shopping. Uh, Javier, what do you do if you're window shopping? <laughs> no, uh, I just uh, looking the yeah. I Just looking. Won't. Just looking. Exactly. Do you ever go window shopping, Javier? Yes, I I have I have done uh, window shopping. You have? I yeah, when I, have. when I when I when I I don't have money, I used to <laughs> do uh, window shopping. Okay. I see. Something I have never done in my entire life. I don't understand it. What's the point? All right. What does it mean in black blue? In dark blue. In dark blue? Did you uh, buy it in dark blue? Do you have it in dark blue? Um, they're probably asking for a sweater or a coat or something. Light blue oh, okay. is like, uh, you know, the color of the sky. Dark blue, the color of the ocean, I guess. Okay, I got it. Terrible examples, but we often differentiate colors, light and dark. Very common. Okay. Okay. Cost and price. This often gets confused, so I'm, I'm very happy we could get to this in the last five minutes. Co-locations with the nouns cost and price. Let's, let's jump right into this. Uh, Jose, Jose, 
Uh, yeah. Half. You choose one, so you 50-50 chance. Cost or price? Half. <laughs> Half price. Absolutely. That's right. So if it costs $100 regularly, it costs $50. That's half price. Great. Um, uh, Umberto, total. Uh, Umberto? You yes. There? Okay. Yes, I'm here. Cost or price? Uh, 50-50. Take a guess. <laughs> Right? Can't hear you. What, what, again? Uh, I, uh, I maybe you, say, it, I, I, I don't understand. I'm supposed to say uh, cost or or price for yes, that phrase. That's right. Is the correct co-location total cost or total price? Mm. Half price. We never say half cost. Half cost actually is nonsense. Total. All right, I want to get through this. Sorry, Umberto. Total. Right. Normally, we say total cost. It's, um, total price is okay. possible. Let me explain. Why do we say half, half price but total cost? Half price is used for how much money at one item, one thing costs. It's possible for me to say total price. For example, if I'm buying a car and I want leather seats, I want um, some of the options. I want air conditioning. I want uh, onboard GPS. And I'm going to pay extra for all of those things. Then my total price will be blah, blah, blah. Okay, because I'm buying one thing. I'm buying a car. But if I'm if I go to the hardware store and I buy a hammer and nails, a screwdriver, and um, some other supplies, my total cost will be whatever, five hundred dollars for many things. Okay, that's the general way to tell the difference when to use cost and price. Uh, not a what tag? Uh, price tag. Definitely. Price tag is a little piece of paper that tells the price for that one thing. Very good. Uh, okay. Uh, Son isn't able to get on. So max blank of mm. living. I think cost of living. living. Indeed. Cost of living, how much it costs you to live. Those are all your expenses. Many things included. Absolutely. Uh, Heidi. Heidi, are you there? No, maybe not. Uh, Heidi, no. Uh, Javier, number five. Two for the price of one. Definitely. All right. Do Do they have these kinds of sales where you live? Yes. Uh, uh, where I live in, uh, there are those that kind of uh, offers. Yeah. Yeah, this is very common in the United States as well. Here in the Philippines, they call it buy one, take one. Same idea, though. Uh, all right. Uh, Jose, how about something list? Uh, pr price list. Ah, okay. There's Heidi. Heidi, are your yeah. price list? Your, the list of each items. Yeah, Heidi, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. Connection or whatever. Heidi, are you there? Yeah, yeah. You're in and out. Uh, how about number seven? Price, mm -hmm. Cost or price? Mm -hmm. uh, fair price? Fair price. Definitely price. So uh, how much one item costs? And finally, included at no extra cost. Uh, 
Uh, okay, usually cost is the co-location we use there. Uh, okay, everyone, um, thank you very much. I am definitely out of time. Uh, thanks a lot. Hope you learned some helpful vocabulary and happy shopping to you. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much.